in this question it is given that let s be the sample space of all the 3 by 3 matrices with entries from set containing elements 0 and 1 let the events e1 and e2 be given by even means a matrix of the set s for which determinant of a is 0 and e2 means a matrix of the set s such that sum of the entries of a is 7 if a matrix is chosen at random from s then the conditional probability that probability of even oblique e2 equals dash we know the formula that probability of even oblique e2 is equal to probability of even intersection e2 upon probability of e2 and now first of all find the number of matrices in the sample space s which are of order 3 by 3 this is equal to number of elements in the set even intersection e2 upon number of elements in sample space upon number of elements in e2 upon number of elements in sample space and now this will get cancelled and i will be getting number of elements in even intersection e2 upon number of elements in e2 just for knowledge i am telling you number of element in the set s will be 2 to power 9 because there are 9 places and each place can be filled in 2 ways 0 or 1 because according to question s is a sample space of all the 3 by 3 matrices with entries from the set 0 or 1 otherwise it is not required this is going to get cancelled and now i find the number of elements in the set e2 obviously it is clear from the definition of e2 that e2 will contain all those matrices which have seven ones and two zeros that is in the set e2 those matrices are there where each place is filled by 1 or 0 that is I have to arrange 7 ones and 2 zeros at these 9 places and we know that when we have to arrange n things out of which p are of one type q are of other type number of ways are n fertile by p fertile q fertile you must have studied this formula in 11th class hence to arrange seven ones and two zeros in these nine places number of ways will become nine fertile by seven fertile two fertile that is nine into eight by two that is 36 hence n e2 becomes 36 and now find the number of elements in even in section e2 that is in even intersection e2 those matrix will come which have seven ones two zeros and the determinant of that matrix is zero also because even contains those matrices whose determinant is zero and it is not difficult to see that if two zeros are there and those two zeros are in same row or same column then the value of determinant is sure to be zero for example if two zeros are in the same row then first row and third row are becoming same therefore the answer of this determinant is zero that is if two zeros are in the same row or same column then the value of determinant is sure to be zero and now take the case of when two zeros are not in same row 
and are not in same column also if two zeros are neither in same row nor in same column then the value of determinant is sure to be non zero the value of that determinant is sure to be 1 or minus 1 why c suppose the two zeros which are neither in same row nor in same column are 0 1 1 1 0 1 and now if i open the determinant with the help of any row or any column which contains two ones that is open the determinant with the help of this row or this row or this column or this column you will find that the value of determinant will be minus 0 into 0 plus 1 into 1 minus 1 minus 1 into Minus one, that is one. As I told you, whenever you will open the determinant with the help of any row or any column containing two ones and one zero, it will be clear that the value of determinant is going to be one or minus one because two terms will be always zero. Hence, we conclude that value of determinant will be zero only in the case if both the zeros are in same row or same column, and to find the number of such determinants if two zeros are in the first column there are three determinants which have two zeros in the first column similarly there will be three determinants in which two zeros are in the second column similarly for third column that is 3 plus 3 plus 3, and similarly, if two zeros are in the same row, then also number of determinants will be 3 plus 3 plus 3. This is the number of determinants when the two zeros are in the second row, and this is the number of determinants when two zeros are in the third row. That is, I get 18 determinants. Which have the value zero. Hence, I can say number of elements in E one intersection E two upon n E two becomes eighteen by thirty six. That is one by two. Hence, the answer to this question is one by two.